I feel paralyzed Hey, how's it going, everybody? My name is Ms. Blackouts, and today uh, I'm bringing guys a podcast with me in Cold Tactic, which his channel will be down in the description below. Um, this is a podcast of me and him talking about Black Ops 3 and the world reveal that happened yesterday. So hopefully you guys will enjoy. You don't have to watch the whole podcast, but if you do have time, please go check out his channel. And, and if you also have time to watch the full co- podcast, let me know down in the comments and... I would really appreciate it. This podcast is almost 50 minutes long, and I did cut out some parts because he was actually recording for his, it for his channel, but I kind of edited some out, parts out because I want to also upload this on my channel as well. So hopefully you guys will enjoy the podcast. I know I did. It was a really good time talking to him about our opinions about the Black Ops 3 channel, uh, not channel, uh, trailer, and I will be updating my channel art and profile picture with uh, Black Ops 3 because I did found somebody who actually made a Black Ops 3 channel art so I will be updating that very soon sometime this week so hopefully you guys will enjoy and I really do apologize for missing out the shout out Friday episode 3 because I didn't have time to record anything but I'll, I'll leave that to you guys on Friday this week but anyways guys I hope you enjoyed um I do apologize if there's any background noise that is from my end because um my my uh, keyboard was it's on top of my desk, and so you can hear like a lot of vibration coming from it. So I really do apologize. Uh, I there's nothing I can do about fixing the audio audio with that. But anyways, guys, hope you enjoy. Make sure you go check out his channel and feel free to subscribe if you want to. He does classic gaming as well. But anyways, guys, I'm gonna go. So I'll see you guys in my next video. And until next time, guys, it's Black Ops signing out. So, what were we going to be doing? What were we going to be talking about again? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Black Ops Three World Reveal trailer that just came out today. We're going to be talking about what we know about it so far and what's our opinions on it for Black Ops Three. Okay, the Black Ops Three trailer. Mm, what we know so far is that there's a gadget on your right arm, I believe. Yeah. yeah, where you can, I guess, well, from the, according to the trailer, you can turn it into, like, some kind of weapon, kind of like a machine gun kind of sort of looking like thing. Yeah, yeah, you can, like, it. it's kind of like in that game Deus Ex, where you have these cybernetic abilities, and, of course, well, you're going to get cyber abilities, apparently, which is cool to... And I guess it's going to be new to the Call of Duty franchise. Which is a good thing. Better than Exo Zombies and Exo Suits itself. Yeah, I wasn't a fan of the Exo Suits. At least we're going to get, like, instead of, like, getting Exo Suits, we're going to get all these abilities that will help you thrust jump and maybe wall run. Plus, you are able to swim underwater, I think, in the campaign, but I'm not really sure about the multiplier, uh, multiplayer, though. Uh, it, it has been confirmed that in multiplayer, you will be able to swim, and you'll be able to surprise your enemies from the water. Which is giving kind of giving you an advantage as well, but it can also give you a disadvantage, too, if the enemy is underwater as well. Yeah, I'm kind of a little not too keen on the water because the water, guess what? They're, we're going to have a bunch of annoying little kids in the water. <laughs> yeah, that's not too bright. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and plus I heard they are also bringing back some guns from previous Call of Duties as well. Yeah, that's that's what we that that's what has been confirmed is that there's going to be guns from the previous, such as Black Ops and of course Blops Two. Maybe maybe we'll get the Peacekeeper again. Maybe. What do you think? Well, I mean, Peacekeeper was kind of like a free gun Black Ops Two, so I'm not really sure why. They could bring it back to Black Ops 3. I don't know. I'm trying to look for some information about that. Uh, oh, here it is. A rumored list of weapons I found. Okay, it's not loading up the internet. 
Oh, uh, okay. Uh, you think they'll bring any or borrow any weapons from Advanced Warfare? Uh, probably not because I think Bla I think Treyarch wants to bring back previous Call Call of Duties a little bit from Infinity Ward and of their previous games as well. Um, I think they might bring back like the AK-47 or the Commando from Black Ops 1. Yeah, I would like to see those return. Especially... Oh my... Oh my god, I would love to see a new variant of the Wonder Waffle in the zombie mode. Oh, that'd be so awesome. Yeah. It's all about the zombies, people. Hashtag Zambage. <laughs> well, well, I know they're not going to bring back exosombies, so that's a good thing. Because if you watch at the end of the trailer, it looks like they don't have any exosuits on, so that's a good thing. And plus, building barriers are coming back. Uh, Yeah, that's uh, something to look forward to if you're a Zambi fan. <laughs> like us. Yeah, every time I see a Treyarch Call of Duty... I'm gonna say, it's all about the Zambies. <laughs> all right. Okay, what do you got? All right, so I, I'm kind of looking at this one YouTube video I watched the other day, and it's just like these kind of leaked weapons that might be back in Black Ops 3. So, so far, what this person had written, uh, typed down, is that we might be able to get the HK, um, AK-12, HK-416, which that might be a new weapon. Uh, we're going to get back the ACR, the Honey Badger from Black uh, Ghosts, uh, CM901. Uh, looks like we're going to get the Scar L back. Uh, for the SMGs, we're going to get the PDW, uh, the MP7, uh, the UMP9, I guess. kind of reminds me of the UMP45. Uh, the Bison from uh, Ghosts and some other new weapons like... Uh, Let's see, uh, what should this person put up? I should have put some commas in it. Uh, looks like we're going to get this new weapon called the SM1 Max 11. I have never heard of that gun before. But, um, the shotguns, we're going to get back the, uh, KSG from, uh, let's see, Modern Warfare 3, uh, Origin 12, UTS 15, just some other guns I'm not really sure about. Uh, the LMGs, we're going to have the M27 from Ghosts, RPK 12. F F90 HBR uh, the hammer the strike uh, the MK46 the marksman assault rifle we're gonna have the buzzard uh, the SA58 MK14 and the G28 and the snipers which I'm not gonna like too much but um the SRS AX uh, uh yeah this is too many I'm not gonna read all of it and the pistols we're gonna have the M93 the G18 the SW500 Rhino uh, Warrior MP 1522 and the TAC-15. That's a lot of weapons, but most of them I'm not really sure about, but we might get most of those weapons in Black Ops 3, in my opinion. Uh, yeah, it sounds, sounds like a good list, and maybe there's a couple new guns that you mentioned in there, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's not, it's not like, uh, like, like in, uh, uh, I forget what Call of Duty it was. But, yeah, it seems like they mixed up, like, modern-day guns along with a couple new guns that we'll never, ever hear until the future. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but this person didn't put comments, so I'm not really sure uh, if, I'm, if I was pronouncing some of the guns right, but it looks like we might be able to get them, but I'm not really sure yet. It's just like a leaked weapon list from before. Uh, the World Review trailer was released... Oh, okay. And then, I wonder if we'll ever, ever get a trailer for... Yeah, we're going to get a trailer for multiplayer, aren't we? Yeah, we should be getting that, hopefully soon. And we're going to get a trailer for the Zombies. My favorite. <laughs> yeah, it's my most favorite game mode. <laughs> Just to hint, everybody on Cold, Text, uh, Cold Tactics channel... Um, I'm not really sure how to put this, but on the month of October, we're going to be uploading some zombies. But after the month of October, I guess you can say we're going to make be making a new channel, but we're not going to spoil anything about what the channel is going to be about and what we're going to be uploading on there. But 
Uh, Cold Tactic and Mr. Steven and I will be on that channel uploading some awesome stuff that you guys might like. So hopefully you guys will enjoy that uh, um, channel we'll be making very soon. Yeah, it's going to be pretty fun. And of course, it has been confirmed, or you all know this, right? It's been confirmed that Black Ops 3 will not be coming to last generation consoles. It will only be for current generation, which is the Xbox One, the PS4, and of course, the almighty, glorious PC gaming master race. So, if you guys don't have any money to buy the next gen, then I'll suggest you buy it for the PC. Yeah, the PC is a pretty viable option. Uh, hopefully, they put optimization and that kind of stuff in the PC port. <laughs> if you're a PC gamer. Then again... Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, Black Ops 2 was actually a pretty good PC port from what I heard. Yeah, I think a lot of people play that more often. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think people are still playing Black Ops 2 on the PC because... They were not too happy with Ghost, and they weren't too happy with Advanced Warfare. So that's why a lot of people went back to Black Ops 2. Yeah, there's still... Wasn't there like 100,000 players altogether? Yeah, because I think I played it the other day, and there's over 100,000 people still playing Black Ops 2 on the Xbox, so I think they came just came back to it because they hate Advanced Warfare. And, uh... I guess we could say the same for the PS3 because people are were fed up with like Ghost and Advanced Warfare. Yeah. So, yeah, I guess the Black Ops community is pretty strong. Yeah, better than uh, let's see, Modern Warfare, I guess, and Ghost community. Yep, I guess. I guess people like Treyarch, they don't like the other two developers. <laughs> well, I'm one of them who like Treyarch. <laughs> Good job, Treyarch. You deserve 1,000 cookies. And if you bring a celebrity in your next game, of course you are going to put the celebrity in the campaign, you deserve an award for bringing in the best actor in a video game. <laughs> Seriously. They I'm trying to find the box art for Black Ops 3 and trying to find it. Okay, now I'm going to go back to a little bit of Black Ops 3. So, yeah, we're going to get the classic zombies. We're not going to get exo zombies. Yay. Thank, thank God we're not getting... The exo zombies, those are a nightmare. Well, I guess it's a good thing I didn't buy the DLCs in Advanced Warfare yet. <laughs> eh, not much you were missing out on, to be honest. I mean, it it was just a cash grab on the DLC. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I, I mean, the game itself would be worth it if you want to, like, rent it. Or wait for it to go lower. I, I mean, on price. Yeah. But the DLCs feel like a cash grab. Yeah. So if you're a Treyarch fan, you're going to be in for a surprise when it comes out. Black Ash 3. <laughs> Sadly, no good news for last generation users. Yep, so if you guys don't, yeah, like I said, if you guys don't have uh, the next gen, then either buy it on the PC or just save up some money over the summer slash winter. Uh, if you guys are on either side, uh, just save up some money and just get the next gen. Uh, just yeah, a lot of people are still uh, in that thing calling it next gen. It's current gen now, okay? <laughs> it's kind of gen now. It's current gen now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because there's already people fixated 
So now it's going going to be called current gen now. <laughs> I was like, wait a sec. Last time I checked, there were over 20 million PS4s. But out of the 20 million, a good percentage are using it as a Blu-ray player. What the <laughs> hell? Sorry if I'm going a little bit off topic here. <laughs> I think all, I think both of us are going off topic a little bit sometimes here and there. Yeah, we'll go off topic once in a while in the podcast, but uh, I guess that's how a podcast is. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is the first podcast I've ever done, so I'm still pretty new to it, I guess. So, anyway, is there any more that we can say on Black Ops 3? From the trailer so far? Mm, probably not. But what what do you think? What locations around the world do you think it'll be taking place uh, at? Uh, definitely Cairo, Egypt. Because they announced that one of the missions is in Cairo, Egypt. Yeah, so that's pretty interesting. I think one. Of, I think another one's going to be like around Singapore. I'm not... I mean, I read something about that the uh, other day. Because from what... A- Red zombies might be located in Egypt and Singapore, so I think that's a pretty interesting thing to have. Yeah, Singapore sounds pretty awesome, if you ask me. And yeah, it does sound like it could take place in the uh, one singular city in Singapore. Yeah, like they did with uh, Cargo. I think Cargo's in Singapore from Black Ops 2, so I think they want to bring back Singapore into Black Ops 3. Uh, something like that. Yeah. Well, anyway, I think the campaign is going to take place at least 30 years, 35 years after the second game. Yeah, because I think it's taking place in 2066, I think. Or, or 65, around sa- that year. It says uh, 2060. Oh, yeah, it's 35 years because it, Black Ops 2 was 2025. Yeah. And now it's taking place in 2060. So, yeah, it's about, like, around 35-year range. Yeah, it's a 35-year range, so... This will be quite interesting what they did over 35 years. Yeah. So, if we want to double jump, we're going to have thrust jump instead of a freaking exosuit. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, can't stand exosuits. I just don't know why. I mean, I don't mind exosuits. I don't mind them coming back, but, I mean, it would be nice to have, like... Just like a single jump, like uh, reg- uh, most CODs do. It's like, at least we're going to have a proper double jump from a proper piece of equipment. <laughs> yeah. Because the exo shoe looked out of place. Way, way out of place. Yeah, and plus, it's not se- sneakly, I guess. Like, it's not very sneaky to have an exo suit, anyways. Yeah, because with this uh, thruster jump, I guess it's new to COD. It will look more natural. That's true. Okay, so so back to the zombie topic. Do you think Samantha will be returning? Uh, hopefully. Or somebody else took uh, Rick Toffin's place. Well, from what I heard, Dr. Max's could be taking place, uh, taking over Rick Toffin's place, maybe. Yeah, I think Dr. Max's might be taking his place but we might like see samantha return in like a dlc oh that'd be awesome <laughs> yeah i think rick Toffin didn't come t- to be an announcer until moon and black ops one if i'm correct uh okay uh yeah, that's true that's true you yeah know. hopefully you know, I wouldn't like mind for this on the current gen consoles if they did this. Like, okay, so many new people are new to video games, and this would be good for them. Bring the old zombie maps as free DLC. 
Into, oh yeah, into the... a lot of people were talking about that. I was like, you should bring back the old uh, Call of Duty zombie maps to uh, Black Ops 3 for a DLC or something. Because I know they did that with classic zombies for Black Ops 1. Yeah, they needed to do that. They needed to bring back the old zombie maps as free DLC because a lot of people are new, like I said, the video games, and they they have never experienced what it was like on the seventh generation of consoles. Yeah, and plus, um, do you think they'll bring they'll bring back Nuketown like as a multiplayer map? Uh, yeah, they might do like a reinvention of Nuketown. The they'll probably do it as a zombie map as well. Yeah, that'd be like yeah, like they did the uh, Black Ops Two. They should really make they should use the the classic Nuketown from Black Ops One as a zombie map instead of the Black Ops Two version uh, from Zombies on Black uh, Ops Two. They should give you the option actually to use it as. I mean, no, this is what they should do. They should give you an option in the zombie map. Play the classic. Yeah, like you can change it to classic from Black Ops 1 or the modern one from, from Black Ops 2. Yeah, ex that's what I'm trying to say. Is they, they should let you do that because in World at War, you had two different uh, make-ins, I believe. Oh, yeah, making that whole day and night. Yeah, you had two different make-ins. So I'm sure they can do the same thing with Nuketown Zombies. It, w it wouldn't be that hard. Yeah. Then another thing. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I can say about the maps. What about you? Mm, I don't think I really have much to say, though. I mean, it'd be nice to see some, like, old maps here and there, but I think I want to see mostly new maps instead of, like, remakes of a certain map from, like, a previous Call of Duty. Yeah, I would love to see a new map, especially trying to see the advantage points and your disadvantages. Yeah, because if you remember, uh, I think like Atlas George from Advanced Warfare, I think it's like a remake of Pipeline from Call of Duty 4, which I mean, I didn't know that until uh, a few days ago, but I think it's kind of stupid how they just remake a certain map from a previous Call of Duty and just put it into like a, the current COD. Uh, yeah, I wasn't too keen when I saw news on that, and it's like, uh, please don't try to revive a map that people didn't like. Seriously. Yeah, I didn't even like Pipeline, so I don't know why they wanted to bring it back, though. Yeah, if you want, if you want to bring back old maps, bring back old maps that people like. Don't bring back maps that people did not like. Yeah. What was a map that people liked? Anyway. Nuketown? <laughs> well, of course. Nuketown. I know they're going to bring that back. Let's see. I'm going to look up to see um, Black Ops 1 maps because I can't really remember all the maps from Black Ops 1 that a lot of people liked. Yeah, I remember uh, they did. They redid Courtyard in Black Ops 2. Yeah, I remember courtyard. I'm trying to remember courtyard. What is courtyard? Uh, it's from <laughs> it's from World at War. You know. Actually, yeah, yeah, I yeah. think I might. Uh, yeah, I might remember that. Yeah, they redid redid it for Black Ops Two. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. And they also remade um, what was that one map in Black Ops One Hazard or yeah, I think Hazard from Black Ops One, and they re remade it from World at War. Oh, that one. Uh, I'm trying. I'm still trying to remember. Or Havana? No, I'm trying to remember. What is the map name? I can't. Uh, oh, actually, it's part of the DLC. Actually, now that I think about it, Hazard from Nalation Map, the third DLC from Black Ops One. <laughs> uh, say what was another one? Oh yeah, remember remember Stadium? Oh yes, that's the last DLC. I think right. Uh, that was part of the last DLC for yeah. Black Ops Two. And that was a remake of a DLC in Black Ops 1. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. Really? 
is like, you want to remake a DLC from a DLC? <laughs> what are Dude, you, what are I you thinking? I that. What were you thinking, Triarch? Remaking a DLC from a DLC. <laughs> oh, yeah. They also, they also remade Farming Range from Black Ops 1 into Black Ops 2. I think as a DLC. Yeah, I forget, what, I forget the name. It was like a limited into a Hollywood themed map. Studio, Studio from Black Ops 2. That's uh, what it is. Yeah. Well, I don't think they'll ever make any more reinventions of that map. I yeah, think, I, I think don't they, think you can go any further with it. Yeah, I think they're going to run out of ideas from there. Yeah, let's see. What what else is a favorite map from any Call of Duty? I'm trying to think. Mm, Maybe can't. they can make Standoff as another remake. I don't know. <laughs> Standoff? Yeah. Home um, of the Snipers, for me, I guess. Because I always snipe on that map for some reason. That's the only time the snipe is, just, is on that map standoff. Somebody tells me they're going to remake Raid. Raid from Black Ops 1? Oh, oh, Black Ops 2. Yeah, somebody tells me they're going to remake that map. <laughs> oh my god, they better not. It's a quick scope in paradise. I don't know why everybody likes that certain map for, uh, like, just... For sniping. Yeah, uh, trick shotting and quick scope in paradise. Yeah, you know they should not bring back uh, bus depot or transit in general in Black Ops Three from Black Ops Two. Transit. Yeah. Oh, that map. Yeah. Yeah, I wasn't too keen on transit. Or uh, are you talking about the Zambi map? Yeah. Oh, that map. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to. that you get on that school bus. <laughs> I don't. I don't want another. Sorry, I don't want another bus bus map. That was that was terrible. <laughs> it really was. I never liked it. That's why I stopped playing that. Yeah, I don't want another transit or another. Well, please just give us a normal map. Don't give us something with a gimmick in it. I know, right? But if they were to remake any like map from uh, like other cause from like Modern Warfare Three and all that stuff, I bet they would remake Dome from Modern Warfare Three. Uh, that would be cool. Yeah. You know, Infinity Ward screwed up badly. Yeah. I don't think they didn't do too bad of a job. Yeah, uh, and that, then uh. God, what was a map I would love to see? It was from World at War. Uh, World at War? Oh, I wonder, can they do like a total revamp and like revisualization of Nazi zombie prototype? <laughs> Nocturne Toten? Yeah. That'd be awesome. Actually, I think they said that for zombies for Black Ops 3, you go level up in it. Like, it's like XP based or something like that. Yeah, I heard it's like a separate rank from your multiplayer rank. Yeah, like, you can start off as level 1 in Zombies, and you can level up in there. That'd be awesome. I've been looking forward for that for a long time, actually. Yeah, people have been wanting to have a level up system and be able to customize their character. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Like, you can show off the gear and stuff that you have. Yeah, show off this gear, whatever starting gear you start off as. Yeah, yeah, seriously. I think people a bit have been wanting that. Is like having starting gear in the zombie mode. Yeah. Instead of having to go all the way to... Well, the random box is optional, but you get what I mean. Yeah, then maybe like, well, while you're playing the game, you can find like... This like, areas that you can get some free uh, gear at. Yeah, like, maybe a random drop from, like, a special infected, if they added special infected. Yeah. Not, not, not just, like, zombies, but, like, special monsters. Oh, yeah, like, uh, the Goliath, for, the Goliath zombie, for example, and, uh, faction from Advanced Warfare. That'd be awesome. Like, having a boss like that. And of course, everyone's favorite, the Poochies. 
<laughs> Hellhounds. I love them. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I hope that this will be the last Black Ops, and it will be a good one. Then Treyarch's going to start a new series. Yeah, you know, I kind of want I want them to have a different kind of serious name instead of, like, Black Ops. You know, everybody was wanting World at War 2 uh, for the next game, so maybe they should do that next time in the next couple of years after Such Hammer releases their next game. Yeah, uh, for all I care, it's going to have a gimmicky title like End of War. Oh, yeah, that'd be awesome. <laughs> end of war. A war to end of <laughs> all wars. I know, right? They should really make th They should really make a game like that. Yeah. Call of Duty, end of war. <laughs> it's like, are you sure this war is going to end all wars? <laughs> nope. It's like, it's like, what time is this? What timeline will this war take place in? I know you're going to say the future, but seriously, is it going to take like 100 years after Black Ops 3? Man, that'll be like in, uh, let's see, like 20 hundred something. 2160. <laughs> it's like the world has not been in a real war since 2060. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That would be hilarious. No, that wouldn't that be. That would. <laughs> but really. Yeah, we're just speculating on what Trayar could do for like a new series. Now. <laughs> after, I wonder what Infinity War is going to come up with. Yeah, yeah. After, uh, after Black Ops 3 is released, we're just going to speculate what Trayar could make up. Uh, yeah, it would be interesting what Infinity Ward can come up with. Like, what could they come up with? Maybe another Modern Warfare? Like, maybe Modern Warfare 4? I don't know. <laughs> uh, I think they're done with the Modern Warfare games. That's true. And the Ghost series went into a totally different tangent. It really did. They better not make another ghost game. Even though they do left that cliffhanger at the end, I really sh think they should not make another ghost game. Uh, I did not like the look of the campaign. It felt, it seemed like a total copy and paste from, what do you call it, Modern Warfare 2. <laughs> if you look at some of the maps that you get in. Yeah. And the scripting felt almost like Modern Warfare 2. <laughs> it, just, it just felt like an on-rails thing. It, you were punished if you went anywhere else on the map. But they said they're going to eliminate that in Black Ops 3 because it's going to be heavily based off of co-op. Yeah, I'm really excited for the co-op campaign thing. We haven't had that since War at War. Yeah, and they're finally... And they're going to revamp the AI to where they'll focus on multiple players instead of just one to take the aggro. Yeah, that'd be really awesome. Cannot wait to play it with you guys. <laughs> Yay! Uh, an Xbox One or PS4? Xbox One. I don't think I don't think Mr. Steven has a PlayStation. Oh, yeah, does he have a PlayStation 4? No, he doesn't. I only have a I'm the only one here out of the group that has a PlayStation 4. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. I'm going to get the Xbox one. Yeah, that's good. I got that too. <laughs> and then we can all play Mortal Kombat together and just like kill each other. <laughs> oh, I didn't buy a Mortal Kombat on the Xbox one. Damn it. Uh <laughs> Maybe we should do that whenever we get the money. Well, we'll find a better deal on Amazon or eBay for for copies on the consoles. Yeah. But anyway, is there any more we can say on Black Ops Three? Let's see, no supply drops. 
Yep, there's going to be no supply drops. What about customization? Well, I mean, they might... Well, hmm. Well, that would be nice. I mean, they should just, like, show off the customization just for fun. Instead of just, like, like default outfits from, like, you know, other CODs that you can't really customize. Yeah, I think they're going to allow you to actually customize instead of having to go with, like, the default classes from the start. Yeah, because that's just boring, and nobody likes that. They just want to show off what they have. I mean, that's that's the fun thing about Call of Duty Advanced Warfare is that you could show off your awesome gear that you got from these supply drops, even though I'm not a fan of supply drops. Yeah, we're going to have no supply drops, and hopefully we'll have the freedom to finally customize your class right away instead of having to unlock customization. Oh my god, I hate waiting like four levels or five levels just to customize your own class. I'm like, I want to just make my own gun already instead of using the default classes. Yeah, I heard you get to customize your own print on the gun. And, Thank god. <laughs> and, show it, and show it off. Instead of maybe we don't even have to buy personalization packs anymore. We can just make our own. That'd be awesome. Yeah, I would like to make a crazy looking camo and show it off. Yeah, they should make an app for it, though. They should make an app where you can customize your own camo and then just link it to the game. Well, even throw your YouTube channel art on there. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Yeah, okay. Uh, any more we can say, or is that it? All right, no more prestiges up to 15. Oh my god, 15 prestige. There's no way I would make, no way in hell I would make it all the way to 15 prestige. Or 30th prestige. <laughs> oh my god, in a, there's no way I would make that shit in a year. I don't know how people can level up so fast and get already to Master Prestige or Grand Master Prestige for Advanced Warfare. Yeah, those are the people that get bored and never ever play again. I know, right? I mean, I actually have a life outside of gaming, which is school. I mean, like, I don't have time to reach up 15 prestiges under a full year when the game is released. Yeah, and I got a job. There's no way I would make it to max prestige within that time limit. But, wait, no, there's no time limit, but there's just no <laughs> way I would make it to the max prestige because I have a life, too. Yeah, they should not really copy Modern Warfare 3 prestiges or Advanced Warfare going past 15 prestiges. Yeah, please. Please bring it back down to 10. 10 was enough. Yeah, that, yeah that's what I have on my little list here. It's like no more than 50 prestiges or 10 prestiges. I think I'd rather have 10 prestiges. Yeah, okay, the prestige is done. Uh, what about mm, anything else you can think of? Hmm, infected? They should bring that back. Yeah, please, bring, bring back infected. Maybe, I don't know, I'm not too keen on multiplayer game modes because, well, I barely play it. <laughs> <laughs> of course, you're all about the zombies. I'm all about the zombies. I think that's what most people are just going to buy for this game, just for the zombies. They're never ever going to play the campaign or the multiplayer. Yeah, people, I remember back on Black Ops 1, people were given like a vote on what they're going to play the most. And I think almost 70% chose zombies out of the <laughs> other two. <gasps> yeah, that's the, that's the majority of the game they're going to play is the zombies. <laughs> yeah. But that'd be nice to have more than four, four players for zombies. Uh, please make it like six, six players, please. Just yeah, so it wouldn't be so hard trying to survive with four people and die early rounds. Yeah, six player zombie mode, please. Just like Raid. From Destiny. Yeah, just like Raid Mode from Destiny. Have it be 6. Yeah, I never played Destiny before, so I'm not really sure about that. Uh, 
Eh, I'll just tell you it's another grind fest. <laughs> of course. Yeah, grind fest. Got to keep grinding for what you want. <laughs> XP. <laughs> nah, not just XP, but weapons. That's true, yeah. And armor. Oh, and uh, sometimes a new ship. <laughs> Yeah, that's you what, know, yeah. you know what they should bring back? They should bring back uh, drivable, uh, drivable vehicles. Like you can drive tanks and all that in multiplayer, like they did with World at War. Mm, yeah, they might bring that back. They might let you go on those. Uh, what you call it? They're like, uh, they're like Humvees with mounted machine guns. Yeah, they should really bring that. That'd be awesome to play. Uh, yeah, they would have to increase the map size, though. That's true, but we don't even know the map or what the prestige icons will look like, so hopefully they'll release that and, pretty soon. And we don't know how many players max they're going to have. We know they're going to have a max of 18 players, though. Yeah, like for Ground War. We, we'll never know, though. They might increase it to, like, 32 for ground okay, war. Okay, 32 is way too big. Uh, this is a battlefield. This is a <laughs> this is all foot soldier. This is not battlefield. <laughs> I know. It's not like battlefield hardline or anything. Yeah, this is not a battlefield. This is foot soldier straight up. <laughs> Cuz you're on foot most of the time. So it would be wise to decrease the player count to 18. Or 16. Or I wouldn't mind just 10 versus 10. Yeah, tw yeah 20 people on each side. No that, no, that would be like, that would be 20 players, so 10 versus 10. Yeah, I mean, why is it 20 players? <laughs> wow, fail. I'm at 20 players in total. So, yeah, that should be the new maximum player count is 20, 20 players max, 10 versus 10. Yeah. Because then you can, like, okay, one team can actually split up in the into a squad. Yeah, like, from, like Battlefield, for example, you like, can, like, uh, like up to five, squads. like up to five, can be into a squad or something, or three in a squad. But then, yeah, that wouldn't be even. <laughs> uh, I'm kind of like wondering, how is it? How does a squad thing work? Like, I know if you die, you can spawn on a squad mate. Yeah, I think that's what Battlefield does. Yeah. Like, if you die, you can spawn on, team, on your squad mate. Uh, I know, I know, I know. It, it's like, just trying to think of something that would be new for Call of Duty. I mean, come on. They're trying to find new stuff for their franchise, and it's like, what can we use that we won't get ripped on? <laughs> listen to fans. <laughs> yeah, yeah, go ahead, listen to fans. And take their ideas and put it in the game. It's that easy, Treyarch. Yeah, Treyarch is that easy. It's like, just give us something we want. Or else you can crash and burn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know I'm evil. <laughs> so, uh, any more on Black Ops 3? Mm, not that I know of. Okay, I guess that concludes Black Ops 3. We have co-op campaign. Classic zombies, and some more stuff with multiplayer, such as swimming. And no exos. Yay, no. So stop complaining. <laughs> Yay, no exos. We just get regular suits <laughs> with jump jets. And cyber arms things. <laughs> <laughs>